Sometimes it is really difficult to choose an adequate font for our design and decide where to place it. Today we are going to help you with 5 tips you can apply. In order to change a proper family font, you first need to decide the nature of your design. It's not the same to choose a font for a child's book, where we could use a more rounded font, than choosing one for a wedding photo book, where it could be more formal. You need to determine the intention you want and follow your instincts. You can take advantage of our customizable inside back cover and inside front cover to place the text. It is a perfect place to create an introduction and an ending to your photo book. Also, a simple and smart idea is to leave a page with text as chapters or to introduce a brief context. And of course, don't forget that you can use the cover to include a title. You can even add text on the different cover finishes. Using too many family fonts could give you a sense of chaos, like in this example. Instead, try to use a maximum of two family fonts and play with its variations to create hierarchies. You can increase the size, use bold, underlined, the same way we are doing in this example. The most important goal for your text is for it to be readable. This is why you have to take care and make sure they are legible and there is enough contrast when you place them. Take advantage of white spaces to place them. And if you want to include text over a photo, look for empty spaces on them. In case there are none, you can add a fill box below the text to make sure it's perfectly readable. Remember that the Sal Design software has many layouts to help you design your album, many of which include text. It is always a good idea to make use of them and change the text to whatever you wish. Now it's time to put these tips into practice. 